डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई शिक्षण प्रोग्राम इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू माई लास्ट क्लास इन दिस क्लास ऑल्सो आई बी कंसिडरिंग सम प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन अप्लीकेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल प्रॉबर्टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो लेट मी कंसिडर द प्रॉब्लम इन अ सर्टन एग्जामिनेशन द परसेंटेज ऑफ candidates passing and getting distinctions for 46 and 9 respectively estimate the average marks obtained by the candidates the minimum pass and distinction marks being 40 and 75 respectively assume the dis distribution of marks to be normal the question is in a certain examination percentage of candidates passing and getting distinctions 46 and 9 respectively so 46% of the students pass the examination 9% of the students get distinction estimate the average marks obtained by the candidates that means we have to find the average that is mean mu the minimum pass and distinction marks being 40 and 75 the minimum pass marks is 40 and minimum distinction minimum marks to get distinction is 75 so it is given that minimum marks for pass is 40 so therefore so consider this line x is equal to 40 <coughs> this is the standard normal curve x is equal to 40 and the students those who candidates those who get 40 and above fall into this area this area to the right of x is equal to 40 and this is given to be 46% so this area is 46% this area from x is equal to mu to the right of x is equal to mu is 50% so 50% minus 46% makes 4% so this strip is the a is of area 4% are 0.04 similarly minimum marks for distinction is 75 so consider the line x is equal to 75 ordinate so all students those who get marks 75 and above distinction they all fall into this area this area to the right of x is equal to 75 and this is given to be 9% so this is equal to 0.9% or uh, this area is 9% or 0.09 now to find the value of mu <coughs> and mu and sigma we need to calculate the value of z1 at x is equal to 40 and value of z at x is equal to 75 <coughs> so z is the normal standard normal variable x minus mu by sigma at x is equal to 40 let z be equal to z1 so therefore z1 is equal to 40 minus mu by sigma so therefore probability of now i want to find this value z1 here z1 so <coughs> probability of 0 less than z less than z1 is equal to 0.04 it is very clear from here this area is 0.04 so for this area <coughs> the value of z1 from the table 0.04.04.04 ah uh, it is here 0.04 the value of z1 is 0.11 0.11 so z1 is 0.11 substitute the value of z1 here so 0.11 is equal to 40 minus mu by sigma so by simplifying we get mu plus 0.11 sigma is equal to 40 call this equation as one well. similarly at x is equal to 75 let z be equal to z2 so z2 is equal to <coughs> x minus that is x is 75 So z2 is equal to 75 minus mu by sigma. <coughs> z2 is equal to 75 minus uh, mu by sigma. So now probability of zero less than z less than z2, that is from here to here, area is equal to this complete area to the right of z is equal to zero, 50 percent. That is 0.5 minus 0.09. 
So therefore, probability of 0 less than z less than z to is equal to 0.5 minus 0 0.09. <coughs> this gives you uh, <coughs> 0 0.41. 0 0.41. For this area, uh, value of z2 from the table, uh, 0 0.41, 0 0.41, 0 0.41. We have to search here. <coughs> 0 0.41. Uh, this is 1.35. 1.35 so z2 is equal to 1.35 substitute the value of z2 here so 1.35 is equal to 75 minus mu by sigma so therefore simplify we get mu plus 1.35 sigma is equal to 75 so call this as equation 2 so solving equation 1 and equation 2 we obtain mean as mu is equal to 36.8 consider the next problem suppose leaf area x of wheat follows normal distribution with the mean 100 cm square and standard deviation 10 cm square if one wishes to select 10 percent plants with highest leaf area then what should be the minimum leaf area for those plants question is suppose leaf area x of wheat follows normal distribution with mean so mu is given and standard deviation uh, te, uh, 10 centimeter square that is uh, sigma is given if one wishes to select 10 percent of plants with highest leaf area then what should be the minimum leaf area for those plants so here we have to calculate x for a given mu and a sigma we have to calculate x <coughs> and uh, one wishes to select 10 percent of plant let us uh, uh, select this 10 percent of plants with highest leaf area so let us take this as the 10 percent 10 percent and this is from x is equal to z is equal to zero or x is equal to mu uh, to the right of this line 50 percent so 50 percent minus 10 percent is 40 percent so area from here to here is 40 percent let z b equal to z naught at this point at this point at this point so in the solution part so given mu is 100 standard deviation is sigma therefore standard normal variable z is equal to x minus mu by sigma <coughs> let z b equal to z naught z b equal to z naught so z naught is equal to x minus mu 100 sigma 10 so first we shall find this value z naught so once we know z naught when we substitute here we can calculate x so probability of 0 less than z less than z naught is equal to this area so this area is 0.4 this area is 0.4 okay for this area 0.4 so we have to find out the value of z naught from the table so 0 0.4 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.39 0 0.4 point so this is 1.29 one point value of z z2 is 1.29 z naught value of z naught is 1.29 therefore 1.29 is equal to x minus 100 by 10 uh, <coughs> so simplifying x is equal to 12.9 plus 100 or x is equal to 112.9 centimeter square hence one should select plants with leaf area 112.9 centimeter square or more to get the top 10 percent plants next problem <coughs> in an examination a student passes if he secures 30 percent or more marks he is placed in the first, second or third division according as he secures 60% or more marks between 45% and 60 marks and marks between 30 and 45% respectively. He gets a distinction if he secures 80% or more marks. It is noticed from the results that 10% of the students failed in the examination 
whereas 5% of them obtained distinction. Calculate the percentage of students placed in the second division assuming that marks are distributed normally. The question is in an examination a student passes if he secures 30% or more marks. So if a student scores below 30 marks he is considered to be failed and he is placed in the first second or third division according as he scores 60 percent or more marks between 45 and 60 marks and marks between 30 and 45 respectively he gets a distinction if he secures 80 percent or more marks it is noticed that from the result 10 percent of the students failed in the examination whereas 5 percent of them obtained distinction that means 10 percent of the students scored marks below 30 and 5 percent of the students got 80 and above 80 and above so calculate the percentage of students placed in the second division second division means between 45 and 60 percent marks assuming that the marks are distributed normally so here first we have to find <coughs> mean and standard deviation of the distribution and then find the percentage of students placed in the second division okay so it is given that 10 percent of the students have scored marks below 30 so if x is equal to 30 here so this is the area where the students have scored uh, marks less than 30 marks less than 30 that is 10 percent similarly 5 percent of the students got distinction that means 5 percent of the students got marks 80 and above that means <coughs> uh, this is the line x is equal to 80 and all the students those who got 80 and above fall into this area which is given to be 5 percent this is 10 percent of the students failed scored below 30 5 percent scored 80 and above for distinction okay <coughs> To find the values of mu and sigma, let us calculate the value of z at x is equal to 30 and at x is equal to 80. <coughs> okay. So in the solution part, let z be equal to standard normal variable x minus mu by sigma. At x is equal to 30, let z be equal to z1. Z be equal to z1. Therefore, z1 is equal to 30, x is 30, 30 minus mu by sigma. So now, probability of z1 less than z less than 0, probability of z1 less than z less than 0 is this area, this area is equal to this entire area 0.5 minus 10 percent that is 0.1. <coughs> so therefore, probability of z1 less than z less than 0 is equal to this entire portion 0.5 minus this area. 0.1 that will give you 0.4 for this area 0.4 the value of z1 we have to uh, look into the table 0 0.4 0 0.4 is here 0 0.4 is here so this is 1.29 1.29 so value of z1 for this area is 1.29 the substitute but z1 lies to the left of z is equal to 0 therefore z1 is equal to minus 1.29 because z1 lies to the left of z is equal to 0 z1 is minus 1.29 substitute the value of z1 here minus 1.29 is equal to 30 minus mu by sigma therefore mu uh, simplify mu minus 1.29 sigma is equal to 30 so call this as 1 similarly at x is equal to 80 <coughs> let z be equal to z2 <coughs> therefore z2 is equal to 80 minus mu by sigma z2 at x is equal to 80 let z be equal to z2 therefore z2 is equal to 80 minus mu by sigma <coughs> the probability of <coughs> 0 less than z less than z2 is nothing but because this is 5 percent so 0 0.5 minus 5 percent that is 0 0.05 0 0.05 so probability of 0 less than z less than z2 is equal to 0.5 minus 0 0.05. So this will give you the numerical value 0 0.45. For this area, we have to find out 
what is the value of z2 from the table 0 0.45 0 0.45 0 0.45 okay this 0 0.44 0 0.45 is 1.65 value of z2 is 1.65 value of z2 is 1.65 substitute the value of z2 here 1.65 is equal to 80 minus mu by sigma 80 minus mu by sigma simplifying we get mu plus 1.65 sigma is equal to 80 call this as equation number 2 now solving 1 and 2 <coughs> we get <coughs> the mean mu is equal to 51.93 or approximately 52 and the standard division sigma is equal to 17 so with this mu and uh, sigma <coughs> we construct normal standard normal variable is equal to x minus 52 divided by 17 so mu is 52 sigma is 70 so 50 x minus 52 by 70 so now <coughs> we have to calculate we have to calculate percentage of student placed in the second division second division is between 45 and 60 percent so therefore we have to find the probability of probability of 45 less than x less than 60 so probability of a candidate scoring second division is probability of 45 less than x less than 60 <coughs> let us calculate the value of z at x is equal to 45 and x is equal to 60 so when x is equal to 45 z is 45 minus 52 by 17 so after simplification we get minus 0 0.41 at x is equal to 45 z is minus 0 0.41 similarly when x is 60 z is equal to 60 minus 52 by 17 z is equal to 60 minus 52 by 17 so this will give us the value 0 0.47 so when x is equal to 60 z is 0 0.47 so therefore probability of 45 less than x less than 60 is equal to <coughs> probability of minus 0 0.41 less than z less than 0 0.47 so minus 0 0.41 coming from x is equal to 45 0 0.47 coming from when x is equal to 60 so minus 0 0.41 to 0 0.47 is this region when x is equal to 45 here x is equal to 45 z is minus 0 0.41 when x is equal to 60 z is 0 0.47 that means we are interested in <coughs> this shaded portion this shaded region so okay so this area is equal to area between z is equal to minus 0 0.41 and z is equal to 0 plus area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 0.47 so therefore this can be written as probability of minus 0 0.41 less than z less than 0 less than 0 plus probability of 0 less than z less than 0 0.47 <coughs> but we know that <coughs> area between z is equal to minus 0 0.41 and z is equal to 0 is same as area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to plus 0 0.41 z is equal to plus 0 0.41 so therefore this can be written as probability of 0 less than z less than plus 0 0.41 plus probability of 0 less than z less than 0 0.47 <coughs> okay so now this area uh, to find out this probability of this area from z is equal to 0 to 0 0.41 I have to look for z is equal to 0 0.41 in the table <coughs> 0 0.41 uh, 0.41 so for what what point one five nine what point one five nine one then this area <coughs> the area between z is equal to zero and point four seven z is equal to point four seven so z is equal to point four seven point four point four seven point one eight zero eight 
0.1808 so adding these two areas we get 0 0.3399 0 0.3399 hence 33.99 percent of percentage of students are placed in the second division <clears throat> next question the mean weight of 500 students at a certain college is 50 kgs and the standard deviation is <coughs> 6 kgs. Assuming the weights are normally distributed, find the number of students weighing between 40 kgs and 50 kgs more than 60 kgs given that area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.6667 is equal to 0.4525. So data is given so we don't have to look into the table for this problem the question is the mean weight mu is given to mean weight of 500 students at a certain college is given to be 50 so mu is equal to 50 and the standard deviation sigma is equal to 6 assuming the weights are normally distributed find the number of students weighing between 40 kgs and 50 kgs and more than 60 kgs out of 500 students. So first let us find out <coughs> the probability of a student weighing between 40 and 50 and when we multiply that probability to 500 we get the approximate number of students <coughs> weighing between 40 and 50 kg. Similarly if you if we have to find the probability of a student weighing more than 60 kg when we multiply that probability to 500 we get the approximate number of students those who weigh more than 60 kgs okay the solution part <coughs> let us quickly write down what is given mu is given to be 50 mu is given to be 50 and standard deviation 6 and standard deviation 6 so therefore standard normal variable z is equal to x minus mu by sigma so substituting for mu and sigma z will be x minus 50 divided by 6 okay question number one so first let us find the probability that a student selected at random weighing between 40 kgs and 50 kgs is probability of 40 less than x less than 50 now let us find out the value of z at x is equal to 40 and 50 when x is equal to 40 z is 40 minus 50 divided by 6 that will give you <coughs> minus 1.67 so when x is 40 z is minus 1.67 similarly when x is 50 z is 50 minus 52 by 17 50 minus 50 this is 50 this is 50 When x is 50, z is equal to 50 minus 50 divided by 70, that is equal to 0. Therefore, probability of 40 less than x less than 50 is equal to probability of minus 1.67 coming from x is equal to 40 and less than z less than 0, 0 coming from when x is equal to 50, 50 minus 50 is 0. Okay, So this is equal to probability of 0. Uh, this is the one this is the area when x is equal to 40 z is minus 1.67 when x is equal to 50 when x is equal to 50 z is 0 when x is equal to 50 50 is the mean z is equal to 0 so this area so this area is equal to area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to plus 1.67 therefore this can be written as probability of 0 less than z less than 1.67 so for this uh, <coughs> this area that is area between z is equal to 0 and 1.67 i have to look for uh, <coughs> z is equal to 1.67 in the normal distribution table 
1.67 oh, it is given in the problem itself so it is given in the problem itself uh, so 1.667 can be approximated to 1.67 so area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.67 is given to be 0 0.4525 so you can make use of this value 0 0.4525 that is the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.67 given in the problem itself okay so therefore out of this is the probability that a student selected at random weighing between 40 and 50 kgs is 0 0.4525 so therefore out of 500 students the number of students weighing between 40 kgs and 50 kgs is equal to 500 into this probability 0 0.4525 0 0.4525 so when we multiply we get 226.25 or approximately 226 so 226 approximately 226 students weigh between 40 kgs and 50 kgs <coughs> next question <coughs> number of find the number of students weighing more than 60 kgs okay first let us find out the probability of a student selected at random weighing more than 60 kgs probability of a student selected at random weighing more than 60 kgs is probability of x greater than 60 probability of x greater than 60 let us calculate the value of z at x is equal to 60 when x is equal to 60 z z 60 minus 50 by 6 60 minus 50 divided by 6 so this will give you 1.67 1.67 so therefore probability of x greater than 60 is equal to probability of z greater than 1.67 so this is the area when x is equal to 60 z is equal to 1.67 z greater than 1.67 means this area this area so to this area is nothing but 0.5 minus from here to here area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.67 <coughs> therefore probability of z greater than 1.67 is equal to <coughs> 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus probability of 0 less than z less than 1.67 <coughs> so to get this area I have to look for z is equal to 1.67 in the table that is given in the problem itself 1.67 uh, area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.67 0.4525 so 0 0.5 minus so this area is given to be 0 0.4525 <coughs> from the given data so this will give the numerical value 0 0.0475 so this is probability of a student selected at random weighing more than 60 kgs is equal to 0 0.0475 therefore <coughs> out of 500 students the number of students weighing more than 60 kgs is equal to 500 into this probability 0 0.0475 that will give you 23.75 or approximately 24 students okay. next question <clears throat> when an aptitude test for selecting officers in a bank was conducted on 1000 candidates <coughs> the average score is 42 and the standard deviation of scores is 24 assuming normal distribution for the scores find number of candidates whose score exceeds 58 number of candidates whose scores lie between 30 and 66 <coughs> the question is when an aptitude test for selecting officers in a bank was conducted on 1000 1000 candidates 1000 candidates 
the average score mu is 42 so mu is given to be 42 and the standard deviation of scores sigma is given to be 24 so mu is 42 sigma is 24 <coughs> assuming normal distribution for the scores find the number of candidates whose score exceeds 58 number of candidates whose scores lie between 30 and 66 now first let us find out <coughs> probability of a candidate whose scores exceeds 58 and probability of a candidate whose scores is between 30 and 66 so when we get these probabilities multiplying with 1000 we get the required uh, number of candidates okay now let us write down what has <coughs> the data given here so mu is given to be 42 so mu is 42 mean is 42 standard deviation sigma is 24 so standard normal variable z is equal to x minus mu by sigma substituting for mu and sigma <coughs> this z is equal to x minus 42 mu is 42 sigma is 24 x minus 42 by 24 now first let us find the probability of a candidate whose scores exceeds 58 that means we have to calculate we have to find out the probability of x exceeds greater than 58 <coughs> so therefore probability of a candidate whose scores exceed 58 is probability of x greater than 58 let us calculate the value of z for this value x is equal to uh, 58 x is equal to 58 so when x is equal to 58 z is equal to 58 minus 42 divided by 24 uh, this will give you the value 0 0.67 when x is 58 z is 0.67 so therefore probability of x greater than 58 is nothing but probability of z greater than 0 0.67 so this is the value <coughs> z is equal to 0.67 at x is equal to 58 when x is equal to 58 z is 0.67 <coughs> z is greater than 0.67 probability of z greater than 0.67 means we have to find this area this is the probability of z greater than 0.67 so this area is nothing but 0.5 minus from here to here <coughs> from here to here that is area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0.67 so therefore probability of z <coughs> greater than 0.67 is equal to <coughs> 0.5 <coughs> minus probability of 0 less than z less than 0.67 <coughs> so from the table <coughs> this area point six seven area between z is equal to 0 <coughs> and point six seven I have to look for z is equal to point six seven from the in the table point six uh, seven is here point 2486 0 0.2486 so 0.5 minus 0 0.2486 that is equal to <coughs> 0 0.2514 this is the <coughs> probability of a candidate whose score exceeds 58 is equal to 0 0.2514 therefore out of 1000 candidates out of 1000 candidates the number of candidates whose scores exceeds 58 is equal to 1000 into this probability <coughs> 0.2514 is equal to 251.4 or approximately 251 <coughs> similarly for the second case we have to find the probability of a candidate whose score lie between 30 and 66 that is we have to calculate the probability of 30 less than x less than 66 that means we have to find <coughs> probability of a candidate whose scores lie between 30 and 36 is probability of 30 less than x less than 66 so we have to find this probability now let us calculate <coughs> the standard normal variable z 
for this value of x is equal to 30 and this <coughs> value of x is equal to 66. So z is equal to, we know that z is x minus 42 by 24. When x is 30, z is 30 minus 42 by 24 is minus 0.5. <coughs> when x is equal to 66, z is 66 minus 42 by 24 is exactly 1. So therefore, probability of 30 less than <coughs> x less than 66 is equal to probability of minus 0.5, minus 0.5 coming from x is equal to 30, less than z, less than 1, 1 coming from x is equal to 66. <coughs> so this is, okay. Uh, when x is equal to 30, this is the 0 0.5, z is equal to 0 0.5. When x is 30, z is minus 0 0.5, z is minus 0 0.5. When x is 66, when x is 66, z is equal to 1, z is equal to 1. That means from z is equal to minus 0 0.5 to z is equal to 1, that this shaded portion. So we are interested in this area. <coughs> this area is equal to area between z is equal to minus 0.510 plus area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1. So therefore, <coughs> this can be written as probability of minus 0.5 less than z less than 0 plus probability of 0 less than z less than 1. Probability of 0 less than z less than 1. <coughs> but we know that area between z is equal to minus 0.5 and z is equal to 0 is same as the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to plus 0.5. So therefore, this can be written as probability of 0 less than z less than plus 0.5 plus probability of 0 less than z less than 1. <coughs> so from the table, this area, that is the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0.5, uh, we have to look for z is equal to 0.5 in the table, in the table, 0.5. 0 0.1915 0 0.1915 0 0.1915 oh, 0 0.1915 and <coughs> from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 z is equal to 1 we have to look for z is equal to 1 z is 0 0.3413 1 0 0.3413 0 0.3413 <coughs> so this will give you the probability <coughs> the numerical value of the probability 30 less than x less than 66 e, uh, is equal to 0 0.5328. That means <coughs> probability of a candidate whose score lie between 30 and 66 is 0 0.5328. Therefore, <coughs> out of 1000 candidates, the number of candidates whose scores lie between 30 and 66 is equal to 1000 into this probability this probability 0.5328 so this is equal to 532.8 or approximately 533 okay <coughs> next one if the skulls are classified as a <coughs> category a B and C according as length breadth index is under 75. So A is under 75 between 75 and 80 or over 80. Find approximately assuming that the distribution is normal the mean and the standard deviation of a series in which A are 58 percent, <coughs> B are 38 percent and C are 4 percent being given that if f of z is equal to 1 by root pi 0 to z e power minus z square by 2 dz then f of 0 0.20 is equal to 0 0.08 and f of 1.75 is equal to 0 0.46 that means <coughs> area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 0.2 is 0 0.08 area between <coughs> z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.75 is 0 0.46 so this is the given data so we <coughs> we don't have to depend on the table we have to make use of this data in this problem <coughs> the problem is if the skulls are classified as a b and c 
according as length breadth index is under 75 that means a is under 75 b between 75 and 80 and c over 80 over 80 find approximately the mean and standard deviations we have to find mu and sigma in which <coughs> in which of a series in which a are 58 percent so under 75 a category is 58 percent b between 75 and 80 38 percent and over 80 c for 4 percent so let us uh, uh, make uh, these partitions here <coughs> So under 75 category A is 58 percent, under 75 A 58 percent. So this is 50 percent from here to here, 50 percent, 58 percent means 8 more that is 58 percent from here onwards, here onwards and we know that this is 50 percent and this, this area is 58 percent. So 58 minus 50 is 8 percent. So this strip is 8% R0.08 <coughs> Similarly 4% that is C category over 80 over 80 so over 80 that is x is equal to 80 let this be x is equal to 80 over 80 that is 4% 4% in between from here to here B category is 38% okay now to find the value of uh, <coughs> mu and sigma we need to calculate uh, the values of z at x is equal to 75 and x is equal to 80. <coughs> Let uh, the standard normal variable z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. Let us assume at x is equal to 75 z is z1. So therefore z1 is equal to x minus mu by sigma. Eh? x is uh, 75 75 minus mu by sigma so therefore to find this value the probability of 0 less than z less than z1 probability of 0 less than z less than z1 this z1 is equal to this strip 58 minus 58 percent or 0 0.08 0 0.08 so for this area for this area 0 0.08 the corresponding value of z is given to be in the problem itself eh, as a data 0 0.2 0 0.2 so therefore z1 is 0 0.2 so substitute the value of z1 here so 0 0.2 is equal to 75 minus mu by sigma therefore mu plus 0 0.2 sigma is equal to 75 let us call this equation as 1 and <coughs> in a similar way at x is equal to 80 let z b is equal to z2 at x is equal to 80 so z2 is equal to 80 minus mu by sigma z2 is equal to 80 minus mu by sigma assuming z z is equal to z2 at x is equal to 80 so z2 is 80 minus mu by sigma so now <coughs> probability from here to here this area probability of 0 less than z less than z2 is equal to this entire area probability of 0 less than z less than z2 is nothing but 0 0.5 minus this 4 percent 0 0.04 minus uh, 0 0.5 minus 4 percent that is 0 0.404 okay so probability of 0 less than z less than z2 probability of 0 less than z less than z2 is equal to 0.5 minus 0 0.04 that will give you 0 0.46 for this area for this area the value of z for this area 0 0.46 0 0.46 0 0.46 for this area the value of z is given to be 1.75 1.75 1 so therefore z2 is equal to for this area z2 is equal to 1.75 substitute the value of z2 here <coughs> so 1.75 is equal to 80 minus mu by sigma therefore simplify you get mu plus 1.75 sigma is equal to 80 is equal to 80 
So solving uh, 1 and 2, we get <coughs> mu and sigma values as mu is equal to 74.33, that is mean is 74.33 and standard deviation sigma is 3.22. <coughs> okay, so in this problem, consider this problem. If the mileage of certain types of tires of a particular brand <coughs> manufactured by a company is normally distributed with mean 36,500 miles and the standard deviation 5,000 miles, what is the percentage of tire that can be expected? to last more than 40,000 miles. The question is, if the mileage of certain types of tires of a particular brand manufactured by a company is normally distributed with the mean, that is mu is given to be 36,500 and standard deviation sigma is given to be 5,000 miles, <coughs> what is the percentage of tire that can be expected to last more than 40,000 miles? So, okay. So, quickly let us write down <coughs> the given data. Given mu is equal to 36,500 and standard deviation sigma is 5000. The so, substituting in the expression for standard normal variable z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. Z is, equal, z is equal to x minus mu is 36,500. So, x minus 36,500. Sigma is 5,000. So, z is equal to x minus 36,500 divided by 5,000. <coughs> now, the probability of a tire expected to last more than 40,000 miles is probability of x greater than 40,000. That means, we have to calculate the probability of x greater than that is exceeds more than 40,000 miles eh? expected to last more than 40,000 miles that means x greater than 40,000 so when x is equal to 40,000 z is 40,000 minus 36,500 divided by 5,000 that will give the value 0 0.7 <coughs> therefore probability of x greater than 40,000 is equal to probability of z greater than 0.7. So, when x is 40,000, z is 0 0.7. z greater than 0 0.7 means this area to the right of z is equal to 0 0.7, this area. This area is nothing but 0.5 minus probability uh, this area, probability of 0 less than z less than 0 0.7. <coughs> So, 0 0.5 minus probability of 0 less than z less than 0 0.7. So, this is equal to, now this area, uh, <coughs> that is area between z is equal to 0 and 0 0.7. So, we have to look into the table, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.2580, 0 0.2580. So, therefore, 0.5 minus 0 0.2580 is equal to 0 0.242. Therefore, 24.2 percent of the tires will exceed 40,000 in mileage. So, I am going to stop here and this completes normal probability distribution. In my next class, I will be considering another continuous probability distribution, namely exponential probability distribution. Thank you.